The Wally Parks NHRA Motorsports Museum features historical racing vehicles, photographs, trophies, helmets, driving uniforms, artifacts, paintings, and much more. The building features 28,500 square feet of exhibit space. It is located within the Los Angeles County Fairplex. Uh, the museum has been here since uh, 1998 and it's kind of a shrine to uh, California motorsports. You know, a lot of motorsports started here in Southern California and uh, this is like a little uh, sort of snapshot of the history of uh, Southern California racing. Everything from dry lakes, drag racing, sprint cars, speedway, you name it, we've got a little bit of it here. Okay. So how would you say this museum is different from some of the other automotive museums in Southern California such as the Peterson? Well, we're totally different. I mean, we're, we're friends, but uh, Peterson is kind of more about the car and Los Angeles. This is pure racing. I mean, we have very few uh, uh, production. We don't have any production automobiles at all. This is all about racing. So that's a major difference from the Peterson. Okay. Now, the title is the NHRA Museum, but you also have cars from uh, NASCAR and IndyCar? Sure, yeah. NHRA is just kind of our uh, flagship company and our kind of core of the, of the collection here. But we have all sorts of cars. As I said, you know, we have dry lakes cars, drag cars, um, sprint cars, uh, roundy round cars, hot rods, customs, motorcycles, speedway bikes. You name it, we've got a little bit of everything. Okay. And uh, what would you say is the most famous vehicle here? Oh, we have two uh, that are very, very famous. One is Mickey Thompson's Challenger. It was the first American car to go 400 miles an hour in 1960 with four blown Pontiac engines. The other one is um, Art Christman's, uh, it's called the number 25 car, and it's probably the oldest living dragster in existence. Certainly raced before World War II out at the Dry Lakes. Okay. Now, do you have any artifacts here from the Detroit Drag Strip or the Milan Dragway? Uh, I think we do, actually. I think we do have artifacts from, uh, you know, drag strips around the country. Okay. Yeah, probably tickets, programs, flags, stuff like that. Photographs, certainly. Okay. I looked on your website. It said something about a Twilight Cruise. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, sure. Every month, um, April through uh, December, on the first Wednesday of the month, um, Prolong, our local oil company here, sponsors the Twilight Cruise. And we throw the building open, and it's free to everybody to bring their car, come in, and enjoy the museum. And we usually get... Three to four hundred cars, two, three thousand people. It's a good fun evening. Okay, very good. Now, are the vehicles here permanent in the collection, or do they go on tours to other museums? All of the above. We don't, uh, we don't own most of the vehicles. We only own about 10% of the vehicles. The other 90% are on loan to us. So they come and go, and obviously, you know, with any museum, you need to change it to make it interesting. It would be like reading the same newspaper every day. So the cars go on tour. We take them to our off-site races. Um, some of the cars are leaving now to go to another museum in Utah. So we totally rotate the stuff all the time. Yeah. Now, with your proximity to Hollywood, have there been any movies or TV shows filmed inside? Oh, yeah. We film, uh, we film here all the time. Uh, we just filmed an Xbox commercial a while ago. Uh, they just filmed an episode of um, Storage Wars here with uh, Barry Weiss. And uh, so, yeah, we're very uh, media friendly and we have cars from uh, some of the you know, top Hollywood celebrities. We have two cars here owned by Billy Gibbons of ZZ Top. Uh, we have a car owned by Chip Foose in here, and uh, we just got rid of uh, you know, some other very famous cars. Even Eric Clapton had a car in here for a while. Oh, very cool, very cool. All right. What do you have planned for the new Moon Eyes exhibit? Oh, well, Moon Eyes is one of those really iconic companies in our industry. I mean, even, even personally, it was the first hot rod T-shirt I bought as a kid. So to me, Moon Eyes is you know, the brand, and it's about 60 years since the company was started. And so we thought it would be a great time to, uh, you know, um, just pay tribute to Dean Moon, who was an incredible photographer, an incredible self-taught marketer and engineer. And so we're going to have cars out of their history. We're going to have artifacts, photographs, all that kind of stuff. Just that tells the story of 60 years of, a, you know, an aftermarket company. All right, very good. Now, what is planned for the Ford Cobra Shelby reunion? Oh, wow, now you're, uh, you know, coming home to me. And interestingly, the very first Cobra was built at Moon Eyes in Santa Fe Springs in 1962. Shelby and Dean Moon were good friends, so they, they shipped the, the AC from England, and that's where they installed the first Ford V8 there. And um, so it's uh, 50 years since that took place, 1962, 2012. So um, we'll have an exhibit here of some very rare Cobras, some photography, artifacts. And then right here on the Fairplex behind me, uh, there's a road race 
course where they raced from 1956 to 1963. So we're, um, that's where the Cobras won some of its very first races with Dave McDonald driving. So we're going to have three days of open track out there and people can bring their Cobras, their Mustangs, and even their Ford powered specials or Tigers, Sunbeam Tigers are allowed. So anything that's Ford, Ford powered will be able to come to the event, just have a good time and celebrate what a wonderful history we have. Any other comments you'd like to add? Oh, and we've also got a neon exhibit coming. So, uh, you know, Southern California is all about neon, even though I think it was invented in France. Um, so we're going to have a neon exhibit opening here probably in May, which will run for like six or seven months. So, you know, three new exhibits in six months, um, you know, how can it not be worth a visit? Yes, that's correct. Can you go over the uh, ticket prices and your location? All right. Ticket prices are just eight bucks maximum. So there's discounts for auto club members, of course, discounts for senior citizens, discounts for children. So the most you're ever going to pay is eight dollars. And uh, we're right um, uh, between the 10 and the 210 freeways and next to the 57 freeway, about 25 miles east of downtown Los Angeles. Real easy to find. You can even get the train here. And once again, the website for more information. Yeah, museum.nhra.com. Don't forget. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks for joining me. Oh, it was great. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. All the way from Detroit? Yes. That's cool. Yep. A new exhibit highlighting Moon Eye's founder, Dean Moon, will open at the museum on Friday, January 27th. Is this your first time at the NHRA Museum? Yes, it is. Okay. And tell me what you think of it. Well, being a gearhead and a card nut, I love it. I've never been here, and I've lived so close for all my life, and uh, it's just amazing. It's amazing. I've been to most of the local racetracks back in the day, you know, Lyons, Irwindale, Fontana, Orange County, and never got a chance to come over here and see any of these things. So it's really interesting. It's, uh, I recommend it for anybody that likes cars, speed, come on down. Do you have a favorite car here? Uh, probably between Foose's Hemisphere and uh, Cadzilla. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, that's where I lean towards. But I like the, the old uh, funny cars themselves. Uh, I went to school with John Forrest, so you got to love his cars. So, you know, that's now, probably my favorite. Too. Okay. How would you compare this museum to some of the other automotive museums here in Southern California, like the uh, Peterson, for example? Well, I can't because I haven't been to Peterson. Um, basically, this is Speed Museum. And um, if you're into drag racing and uh, where everything started, my opinion, Southern Cal, this is the place you need to stop on a tour. Come here. Very good. Any other comments to add while we're still here? Let me get back to my tour. <laughs> the 50th anniversary of the Cobra will be celebrated during the Ford Cobra Shelby reunion from April 19th through 21st, 2012. The Wally Parks NHRA Motorsports Museum is open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Wednesdays through Sundays. Reporting from Pomona, California, I'm Jason Residlow for AmericaJR.com.